here we are again. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program. Got a new, uh, a new Kerbal up. This is what I was doing last uh, since the the last episode recorded. Conrad Kaplonk. Uh, this is he's actually writing a a slightly modified version of At Latl Two. This is At Latl Two Point Five. It can haul slightly more weight. And to realize that this is just about perfect. I don't know why that thing is glowing yellow. Conrad, what did you do to that thing to make it glow yellow? Anyway, it's it's just the ideal size in order to to get um, a one Kerbal pod with a uh, you know a, a little service module to give him basic maneuvering capabilities. Uh, it's it's good for that. So um, I decided that Conrad Kaplonk needs to go and join Tabular Ken up at the space station. So he's going to undock from there. He's going to redock to the station. Whenever you take a look at the station, there's another capsule, one Kerbal pod, that's already a dock there. That I sent that one up empty. So now I have the the station is crewed by two, and they're doing all kinds of science experiments and observations and looking at stuff with telescopes. And they both have a way to to get home back to Kerbin if things go bad, as they occasionally do in this game. Uh, what else did I do? I decided to go uh, and you know we didn't need to go into such great detail over developing the next generation of the Atlatl series. This is Atlatl Five, uh, boosting an inert five-ton test weight up into orbit. Um, I know we put the kind of curve on, on that tank to, to to try and make it look more like it's holding a pressurized gases and liquids, but I know I'm still not really certain on it. But okay, yeah, enough of that. And now we're recording live. Yeah, okay. So uh, things are moving. Uh, the the space program is happening. We're getting things done. Um, there's one thing I'm beginning to consider. Um, it's it just seems kind of wrong, kind of implausible that that here we are. We're only a few days. What are we are? We're not even a week. We're almost a week since I started this save file, and we already have multiple pieces of a space station put together. We've done a moon mission, a failed. A partially failed moon mission. Uh, oh, hey, I, I didn't ever even realize until just this moment. Yeah, that, that rock hit Kerbin somewhere. I didn't care. <laughs> and still, no more unknowns. Why Why do I not have any, any unknowns? Something is broken about that. I'm considering maybe uh, adding some house rules to this uh, and uh, just saying that uh, I can, you know, starting to put some limitations to how often I can launch things. All right, yeah, so this little guy... By, by the way, I figured out the rubber banding thing. There, uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know, somebody needs to, to get a hold of Danny and, and tell him about this. You take a procedural fuel tank, and if you... Um, if you launch it, you use a procedural fuel tank, but you do not put any fuel in it. You do not go to the the GUI that tells you uh, what uh, what fuel you want to use, and you launch it, and it's the physics is broken, and things phase right through it, and the struts turn into stretchy rubber band noodles, all that kind of stuff. So this this vehicle it was a partial success. It's rolling down this very very slight hill. This flat, featureless plane. This flat, featureless plane. This is one unfortunate side effect of working with the the, the whole rescaled mod, or the uh, they call it real solar system mod. Uh, in that the the terrain of of all our all these celestial bodies, it gets stretched out so much so that what was a steep hill now is almost perfectly flat. People are working on this. They're they're having. Um, you go and read the forum thread, and there's some very smart people who are actively working on ways to fix this problem so that we can have interesting varied terrain, uh, even with everything all scaled up. I'm looking forward to it. It isn't quite working yet, is, is my understanding. Any case, uh, remember that whenever we set up this mission, uh, actually landing the thing on the moon, that was only part of the goal. Even if the, the other part had worked, if we'd, uh, you know, launched this thing up and and even if we had, you know, uh, attempted to return back to Kerbin. Uh, no, that even wasn't the total goal. The goal was to be able to use our notepad here, 
Which one was I working on? Yeah, still I'm working on that one. Uh, use our notepad, our list notes, what do we call them, that baby Apollo pen? Yeah, to, fi to find out how closely our, um, our delta V numbers that we're estimating by playing around with maneuver notes, how closely those ended up matching up with the real world. Uh, and that part of the mission was a miserable failure. I don't know how much delta V this thing took to get down to the surface of the moon. And that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm still not certain what part broke. I think it may have something to do with having attempted to launch it, maybe having to do with the whole rubber banding bug. Uh, and that that totally screwed something up with the, the, the flight engineer here, the Kerbal, Kerbal Engineer Redux. I don't know. In any case, back to the Space Center. Uh, moving over, the game cannot be saved. We'll set you back to... Oh my god, we'll lose three minutes. Leave anyway. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I've got another mission in mind in order to at attempt to achieve this same goal. In this case, I want to set up a Minmus lander. I already have it put together in here. Let's load this thing. Yeah, I know these are still kind of kind of baby steps. We're still early days for the for the for the space program. There it is, just a propane tank with some legs and engine, and a few little greeblies and doodads and widgets and stuff on it. Uh, this time, Mech Jebs, as Delta V stats, tells me that this thing has nearly 4,800 Delta V. And on my notepad, here, this is something else that I did previously. Load, no, list notes. I keep on clicking the wrong thing. Where'd it go? Minmus Landing. Let's, let's load this one up. Yeah, did a whole bunch of math and figured out that I needed 4,114 in order just... This thing isn't coming back. It's just going to go down to Minmus. It's going to take measurements. It's going to take pictures. And it's going to uh, transmit information back to Kerbin. 4,114 is what I think it needs. And it has 4,800. What I want to do is run this mission and just keep track. Uh, you know, here's what I estimated. I'll keep track at... What happened here? Why is this arguing with me now? Yeah, I keep track of how much it, it used, uh, you know, and how that compares to our estimates. Okay, so yeah, the whole thing, uh, the whole probe, it weighs just under one ton, which means that I'm going to use pre-made launch solution at Latl 1. Stick that thing on there like that. How about that, huh? Actually, I just want to separate the probes engine and put it all the way down here. And it's okay if these all separate at the same time. Good. Wait a second. Something really strange is happening over here. Did this not save correctly? Let's take a look at this. No, hang on. Kerosene. Oh, yeah, it did not save correctly. What do you think about that? That's why my numbers were not were making no sense. Oh, did I? Uh, I bet you I did this wrong. Kerosene? No, that one's liquid H2 and oxygen. There we go. Okay, now, now we're starting to make some sense. I got that one set up correctly. Got that one set up correctly. Oh, it's be. Oh, okay. I see. I see. The error is because we're not using a decoupler here, so the. The mod is, it doesn't know that this is going to separate and, and it's only going to be, yeah, this engine is only going to be pushing this. This is the delta V numbers if this tiny little engine, which I've dropped the thrust limiter way down so as not to overpower the thing for a minmus landing. Yeah, that it's only moving the upper part. That's what's happening. Okay, okay. Problem solved, guys. And of course, all, in all my delta V estimates, they are assuming starting from a... Uh, a 200 kilometer orbit. Let me see. Let's get FAR window up. Let's close that because I like to yeah, switch from FAR to the Delta V window at one point during the launch. Here we go. Shut that down. And we'll just leave this here for a while. Alrighty, so let me see. Let's come let's go ahead and try this. This I haven't actually attempted doing this. Yeah, okay, so we want, in a little bit, we'll come over here, and we'll want to launch whenever we're, we're facing, yeah, we're looking at, at this point. 
at that point where we're actually on Minmus's orbit, and I'll want to aim a little bit to the north by about six degrees. All right, right? Isn't that the way that works? I believe that's the way that works. And I've got extra delta v in the in the in the atlatl, actually in the upper stage in the dart, just in case I screw it up. So I'll do some mild time compression. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's kind of difficult to see exactly where it is, but that looks to me like it's lined up pretty close to correctly. All right, kill the map view. Okay, guys, time to go. Let me take a look which way I'm going to go. We're going to the north, so I want to aim over here a little bit. Look at our inclination as six degrees. And we're launching it. Uh, what? Oh, this is another problem. Hang on. This is a glitch. Two of our boosters malfunctioned. Okay, so, we, yeah, we had a launch malfunction. It's t uh, too early to say exactly how that's going to affect the total delta V we arrive in orbit with. It's too bad that we have that one visual flaw of, like, the hole in the, in the two-dimensional uh, uh, texture, but just immediately before we have the extremely cool-looking effect uh, punching through the volumetric cloud layer. I like that. I think that's excellent. Start throttling back some. Oh, our apoapsis already climbing above. Yeah, I should have been... I was falling behind on the gravity turn. I should have been doing the gravity turn more. Okay, so yeah, we're making mistakes in this launch, but I bet you we can correct them. Yeah, it's just pitch. Let's get this thing totally horizontal now. Okay, at lateral stage is just about done. We're about to go with the dart stage. Um, hello? No, wrong engine! Wrong engine! What the hell? Okay, it's alright. This was not a disaster. I could have sworn I fixed that staging. I thought sure I checked it. Obviously I didn't. Obviously I did it wrong. Man, everything's going wrong on this one. Why does this thing keep on wanting to swing over to one side? Uh, this, oh, I guess the, this payload must be just slightly imbalanced. It's, yeah, it's close to being balanced, but just not quite. Okay, just about to reach orbit. All right, 205. We'll call it 205. Good enough for me. And I forgot, yeah, Tinfoil Chef even told me I should, I should hit the button that I should change to camera free mode before I even launch. Minimus, hello? Okay, let's see. How well did I do that? Descending. Oh, God, I'm totally off. No, wait a, wait, wait a second. No. No, actually, that. L I don't know which number to believe. I mean, that looks like it lines up. Or am I, like, totally the opposite? way. Uh, I think maybe I I misunderstood completely and I went inclined it the wrong way or something. Yeah, all right. Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing with that. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> uh, how about total delta V in this stage? 56, but is that screwed? Oh, no. Yeah, we are almost com 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 almost completely out of fuel. Um, this may be a totally failed launch, a fail to understand how to do it, and uh, yeah, we had a, a booster malfunction right at launch, that two of our boosters were uh, only pushing half as hard as they needed to, uh, made several piloting errors on the way up, and it's just overall, just really everything is screwed up, you know? Well, okay. Obviously, I need to go in and look up some guide as to exactly what's the, the correct way to go about aiming that, because I really wanted this, this orbit to, to line up with that, but obviously I didn't understand how to do it. I just, I just got the timing of it wrong. Yeah. 
Yeah. I sh okay, that's that's how I should do it. If I should try and like look through the planet at Kerbal Space Center and wait till it just lines up just exactly like that. That's the way I should do it. I suppose I could send up something to to reef to try and match an orbit with this and refuel it. But if I was gonna do another launch, why didn't I just start all over again? I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna deorbit this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna deorbit this. I'm gonna try it again. Try it again. Start over. Because this is not in any kind of useful state for me. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, if I have to go and, and put another spaceship up here to dock with this and refuel it, then I might as well just launch another one, you know? Not going to do it. So, let's get rid of this one. There we go. Yeah, just barely enough fuel left to deorbit the thing. 